In this short video, we'll look at solving an ordinary differential equation with Laplace transforms. So here we have the equation x double dot for plus 4x dot plus 20x equal to the step function. This 1 of t is a step function. So when you have a differential equation, you need to have initial conditions. This is a secondary equation. So two initial conditions, x dot of 0 equal to 1 and x of 0 equal to 0. So when you say x of 0, t equal to 0. Remember that x, x dot and x double dot are all functions of t. So first what you do is you take Laplace transform. Now because of the properties of Laplace transform, you can bring this Laplace transform inside and this is what you get. And we have a theorem for Laplace transform of a derivative. We we'll directly apply that here. So Laplace transform x double dot will end up being s squared plus times x capital X of s minus s x of 0 minus x dot of 0, Laplace of 4 times x dot, you can bring the 4 outside and then that this is Laplace transform of x dot, s times capital X of s minus x of 0, here capital X of s is the Laplace transform of x of t. And finally, this one here, Laplace transform of 20 times x is 20 times capital X of s, Laplace transform of the step function is uh, 1 divided by s that's from the tables here so now we substitute initial conditions we know that x of 0 is 1 x dot of 0 is 0 x of 0 is 1 that reduces this equation to this we gather all terms that have x of s on the left hand side and the rest on the right hand side that gives you this notice that s x of capital x of s is, has s squared plus 4s plus 20 that's right this and rest of the terms go to the right hand side now divide through by this term here will give you this. Now you can find the common denominator and write x of s like so. Okay, now we write the next step is to do an analysis of the denominator, what kind of roots we have. We have a second order term and a first order term. The second order root term has complex roots. How do I know that? I analyze the second order term and I do b squared minus 4ac which is b is this, c is this, a is 1, so b squared minus 4 ac is 4, minus 4 squared minus 4 times 20, which is less than 0, so complex term, so we'll have to complete the squares. We write s squared plus 4s plus 20 as s squared plus 2 times 2, less 2 times 2 is 4, so you need to have that 2 here, and then whatever is left, you put it in here. In this case, this is 4, so this term also has to be here, this thing has to be 2, so s squared plus, so then you write this term squared here it is 2 2 squared is 4 and from the 20 here you subtract minus 4 this is essentially rewriting this in a nice form so that you can write this as this term as s plus 2 the whole squared 20 minus 4 is 16 which is 4 squared so this this thing here this term here when you complete the square you get s plus 2 the whole squared plus 4 squared Next thing is to write the partial fraction expansion. The first order term gives you a single uh, term. So this real root gives you a single term. This complex root gives you two special terms and I write them in a special way. Right, and the reason we'll discuss a little bit later. This is two special terms. We solve A using shortcut. Uh, now I can use shortcut for A because it is a simple uh, real root. So how do we do that? Multiply throughout by the denominator of A, both on left hand side and right hand side. That's right there. Now this S cancels with this S, this S cancels with this S, and this gets multiplied in here. And these are the terms you get. And then you evaluate it S equal to zero. So that's the root. This is the root of S s equal to 0, evaluate that, the left hand side drops to uh, 1 by 20, so this becomes 0, these two terms become 0, what is left is 1 divided by 20, on the right hand side if you look, because of this as this term drops out, because of this as this term drops out, so you get a equal to 1 divided by 20. Unfortunately for b and c, there is no option but to do uh, brute force so multiply by the common denominator on both sides and this is what you get and then you start equating coefficients 
so equate coefficient of s squared on both sides left hand side and right hand side you see that the coefficient of s squared on the left hand side is 20 that's right here coefficient of s squared on the right hand side here there's an s squared that's a 1 right here and then you have coefficient of s squared here which is 2 times 20 times b that ends up being here you equate coefficients of s you get an s here so coefficient is 80 that goes here this term here is s squared plus 2s plus 2 and therefore there's an s here that coefficient is 2 that goes here there's an s here whose coefficient is 40b and this is a term with s whose coefficient is 80c that's right here you solve for a and b as b and c you get b equal to 19 divided by 20 and c is half your uh, x of s with the coefficients here now if you look at uh, doing x of t, so you take Laplace inverse. Now let's start. Let's look at the Laplace inverse. So this is one divided by twenty times one divided by s. The Laplace inverse of this is the step function. If you look at this term here. This is the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus two t cos four t, and that's why we write this term in this special way. Similarly, if you look at this term here. This is the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus 2t sin 4t. If you do Laplace inverse, this is what you get and this is your solution.